Hi, I'm Bill, and welcome to the Sunday Painter, the channel about everything painting. I've handpicked videos from YouTube, from how to paint to making money from your art with advice from seasoned artists. Check out my channel, you can't go wrong by subscribing, may save years of struggle. Today we are going to learn about Paul Cezanne. Here are some quotes from him. You must think. The eye is not enough, it needs to think as well. Sometimes I imagine colors as if they were living ideas, being a pure reason with which to communicate. Nature is not on the surface, it is deep down. I could paint for a hundred years, a thousand years without stopping and I would still feel as though I knew nothing. That's a lot to take in, but Cezanne is right, I've been painting for many years and each work is like its little world where I need to learn the rules to paint it. Come and improve your art and expand your knowledge. Become a part of the Best Art channel and leave a happy comment, or let me know if there is an artist you would like to learn about. See you, on the other side. The Sunday Painter I challenged one of my students to paint a Cezanne-like painting. Stay to the end to see both works and what I learned. Paul Cezanne 1839-1906, was a revolutionary painter of the late 19th century. His works could not be contained within one movement of modern art. Cezanne painted during the height of the Impressionist movement, though he did not hit the pinnacle of his career until he became one of the founders of the post-Impressionist movement. His style of painting has inspired generations of artists to this day. Post-Impressionism, as the name would suggest, is the art movement that directly followed Impressionism. Much of his early work was pure Impressionism, although he was introduced to the style and guided by Camille Pissarro, his works showed a distinctive uniqueness. Cezanne broke away from Impressionism because of the lack of composition, he felt the desire to depict subjects in the third dimension as well as appearing flat. Cezanne did not agree with the Impressionistic trait of portraying the world through light, instead, he built up images by a generous use of color. He would perfect the design in his works by distorting objects and having multiple viewpoints on the same object. He utilized this avant-garde technique, while at the same time demonstrating the relationship between the artist and the work. This work embodies the period style because it contains avant-garde geometric shapes to define the forms, colors, and interpretations that were important to the post-impressionists. First off, the harshness of the lines goes hand in hand with the shapes that exist in the work. The shapes tend to be simplified which demonstrates that Cezanne wanted things to appear as if they could be broken down. Beginning to paint in 1860 in his birthplace of Aix-en-Provence and subsequently studying in Paris, his early pictures of romantic and classical themes are imbued with dark colors and executed with an expressive brushwork in the tradition of Eugène Delacroix, 1798-1863. Dramatic tonal contrast and thick layers of pigment, often applied with a palette knife, exemplify the vigor with which Cezanne painted during the 1860s, especially apparent in the portrait series. In his still-life paintings from the mid-1870s, he abandoned his thickly encrusted surfaces and began to address technical problems of form and color by experimenting with subtly gradated tonal variations, or constructive brushstrokes, to create dimension in his objects. Cezanne's rejection of the intense contrasts of light and shadow of his earlier years in exchange for a refined system of color scales placed next to one another. The light of Impressionism resonates in this work, but signs of a revised palette are especially apparent in his muted tones. Cezanne's artistic evolution and mastery of this style of building forms completely from color and creating scenes with distorted perspectival space. Plato believed that art is by definition imitation of life. Cezanne believed that the role of art was not to imitate or copy life but to enhance it, contribute to it, and comment on it. He said that art was a harmony running parallel to nature, not a method of imitating nature. His work was assumed a deconstructionist approach to art, which would eventually inspire the all-out shift towards cubism and abstraction. Cezanne strived to add form to Impressionism therefore he strayed from his peers, whom he believed lacked composition in their works. He did not have the same attraction towards light as did many Impressionists, he believed that the structure of objects should be portrayed through color, not light, I seek to render perspective only through color. He created the illusion of depth in his works by adding numerous layers of color. 
His ability to use both dark and light colors to come up with three-dimension effect is one of the fact that makes Cezanne's work appears quite unique from those of other Impressionist painters of the time. It is also worth noting that his initial strokes were usually based on simple primary colors. Rather than using a palette, Cezanne put paint directly from the tube on the canvas. This additional aspect makes his work much different from the rest of his Impressionist colleagues. He uses color in its three dimensions to favor different contrasts of hue to reassert different structural painting qualities. He had the opinion that surfaces that are near the viewer should have pure color. This hints how he uses color to build form. Using three-dimensional model that is value to illustrated by light dark color, hue using varying wavelength of green, red, yellow and other colors and saturation where he applied purity of colors. These dimensions of colors he used in combination with four forms of contrast separately or mixed thus building form and space at the same time intensifying lighting effects. Cezanne at the same time used a warm cool contrast, which is a function of hue. This spacing could be seen through perspective though it depended on the viewer's eye when standing on one place. He accounted his natural vision through art representation since nature cannot be reproduced through art. This spacing could be seen through perspective though it depended on the viewer's eye when standing in one place. He accounted his natural vision through art representation since nature cannot be reproduced through art. Inspired by Cezanne, Albert Gleises and Jean Metzinger wrote, Cezanne is one of the greatest of those who changed the course of art history, from him we have learned that to alter the coloring of an object is to alter its structure. His work proves without doubt that painting is not, or not any longer, the art of imitating an object by lines and colors, but of giving plastic, solid, but alterable, form to our nature. Du Cubism, 1912. As I promised, one of my students, Linda J. and I was talking about Cezanne and challenged her to paint two apples and a vase in a Cezanne style. Her painting is rich with deep color. She has enhanced nature by applying color over color to give a depth to the work. You can't see it in the picture but the layers of brushwork gives the apples and vase a beautiful roundness and weight. I like the work so much, it's in my permanent collection. It is truly a fine work of art. Speaks to me on so many levels. Here is my painting of two apples with a vase in the Cezanne style. I used more of an abstract design. I was looking to use pure color to determine the shapes. I flatten the shapes to come closer to one plane. Blocks of color and movement of line without strong line. Using tones of color to separate the objects. Notice the outline of the vase and apples. I did not use hard lines to define shapes but a shift in color. You can see this if you follow the outline of the vase. See the background color creates the illusion of line, without making the line. I enhance nature by adding color over color. Notice the cool blue colors in the shadow of the apples then adding a reflective glaze from the surrounding objects to the white tablecloth. As always there is much more to Cezanne and this inspire you to make your own Cezanne painting from what you've learned. Come and learn much more on my channel. Thanks for watching.